I'm now looking 10 times better. So I've got on my outfit. I've just got on some black jeans, a black high neck, which I had on yesterday as well. Literally haven't done anything to my hair. My hair is just as it was when I woke up, just brushed it. Then I've got on my big coat again from River Island and I've got on my trainers which are from Ego and me and Saf are just packing up the room, getting ready to leave. Also, last night, I, it was like 2 a.m. and I wanted cupcakes so bad. Looked on the room service menu, they didn't have any. And then Saf reminds me this morning that I actually had a box of cakes here from the afternoon tea. So I'm gonna take these with me and I'm gonna sit and have them on the train. Although that one doesn't look too good now. Yeah, Saf made me bring them. I was like, no babe, I'm not gonna want them. And she was like, Anna, look, you're gonna want them. And she packed them up for me in a box. So now I've got my snack sorted from the train home. Excuse the absolutely awful background noise, but I'm now at St Pancras, as you can see. There is the clock up there. And I've just stopped off to get some lunch before I get the train home. So I decided to get this like cheese and tomato croissant and then I just got some Coke. And I'm gonna sit and eat this. Then I'm gonna get the train home. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, to be honest. I have now made it home. I got the train home. And whilst I was on the train, I was watching the latest episode of the Shane Dawson series. It was part seven, the ex-girlfriend part with Alyssa Violet. It was my favorite part because I've wanted to know some of those answers for so long. So I feel like I finally got my answers. Um, I'm so excited for the finale, which is gonna be tomorrow, which is like the main Jake interview. Although I'm gonna do my full opinion on the series a little bit later in this vlog. But like I said, I've just got home and my mum isn't actually home. My mum's at college. So she's gonna be back in a little while. Atticus is at school. So I'm home alone again and it's actually quite nice because it's very very peaceful. I'm basically popping out to Tesco to go and get some healthier food because I'm not going on like a necessary like health kick. I don't really know what you call it but I just want to eat healthier for my own good. I feel like because I travel a lot and because I'm always really busy I never really even though my mum like cooks meals I'm not saying that at all. I never really eat like big full meals. I do for, but not really for like breakfast and lunch so because I'm always traveling like to the this morning I've been traveling so I had obviously the hotel breakfast which was amazing but then I'll kind of skip out lunch and I'll have dinner so I just want to go and get a few bits just to like I don't know like just make me feel a bit better so I'm gonna go and get quite a bit of fruit quite a bit of veg just some like healthier bits I just crave healthy food like I suddenly crave tomatoes I crave having a raw carrot like I want some hummus I want some pita like I don't know I just really really crave that so I just thought to myself yeah let's just take a little quick trip to Tesco before I got on with my editing the Bluetooth takes so long to connect on my car I have no idea why. Wait, let me go on Bluetooth and then let me go on. Oh, that's I just connected it to my AirPods, but I'm obsessed with this song at the moment. Wait, let me put it on. Where is it? Oh, it's downloading my phone data two seconds. I just love that song so much. That's Bad Vibe by M.O. Lotto Boys and Mr. Easy. And I also really like Hardy Caprio, Best Life. I've been loving that song. I think that's on here, actually. Oh, you heard I have been out here living my best life. Oh, I've also been loving this song as well. It's I Spy by Skepta. <laughs> So yep, yeah, love that song. And I also love this song as well, In My Room by T.Y. Dollar Sign and Tiger. If you're ready, let's go. So I've been loving that song and I feel like that's kind of it. Like, I don't know, I've got my car playlist. I like this one. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna go to Tesco now because I feel like I've just been playing my music and I hate leaving my car running and I get really paranoid. So let's go to Tesco. I know you all really want a Tesco haul so I'm gonna do a Tesco haul with a Tesco logo in the background. Very on brand. I got myself a bag of carrot sticks, like a massive bag of carrot sticks. I got myself a pack of tomatoes and we'll cut these up when I get home. Then I got some scotch eggs because I really fancy scotch eggs. And then I got some baby bells because Saf has baby bells at the moment like all the time because she loves cheese and it's got me proper hooked on baby bells. Like yesterday when I was in the hotel room last night, I was like, Saf, I'm so hungry. She went, I've got a box over there and there's some cheese in it. Do you want it? And it was baby bells. And I was like, oh my God, I genuinely like, didn't realize how much I loved them. So when I got a pack of them, so for me to get all this stuff instead of chocolate, is an improvement so i'm very happy with myself and now i'm gonna drive home and it is a little bit later now and i have just finished editing my video it's taken me about two and a half three hours and i'm still actually in my coat because i couldn't be bothered to take it off i literally just wanted to get this editing done so i literally sat on my bed got the editing done well i'm saying it's done i've got to like re-watch it and add music but it's basically done so i've done that and i basically wanted to show you before i went away the other day i got a millions machine from b&m like how sick is this it was literally 2 99 and it's just this tiny little millions dispenser machine i thought this was so cool and then i bought some of the 
millions to go in it. I've just opened them and I don't even know if these are going to be able to fit in here or how they're meant to. I'm going to try it in a second. And as I've got to tell you, I actually opened Sass birthday present earlier, hence why I have a Burberry bag here. But you guys are going to have to wait to see that in my main channel video coming on Sunday. Good morning everybody and welcome back to part two of this vlog. I am just sat this morning eating my breakfast because it's literally the first thing I do when I wake up. So I just woke up to this delivery from Primark and it is of Saf's new Sappy BX Primark range and it's her suitcase and I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure this label has got my dress on. Let me just check. How amazing does this look? And then you've got the tag, I think. Yeah, it says cabin case Saffy B. So I'm going to open this up. It's got a big red bow on the front and basically when you guys are watching this vlog, if you head over to my Instagram story, we are going to the launch and celebrating like the the new Safi BX Primark range um, in London. So make sure to go over to my Instagram story and check what I'm getting up to as you guys are watching this. And then inside there's a little postcard and I'm just covering up the address of where the event is. And it says, hi, I can't wait to see you at my sleepover. Here are some travel goodies from my new Primark range to help you on your way, Safi B. And then it just says the Primark Hotel, hashtag Primark X Safi B. And then inside we have been given her travel cushion, which is literally the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. I'm so excited to use that. I've got her water bottle, which again, I'm so excited about because when I was with her on the weekend, she literally is drinking out this water bottle 24 seven and I wanted it so bad. And then in here, if I just grab this out, I've got the sleep mask, which again, I love. And then we've got the luggage tag. So when I pack my case to go tomorrow, I'm going to be completely Primark X Safi B decked out. So if anybody wants to know how my morning's going, this is basically it. So I just pulled out one drawer because I need to organise everything and then here you go uh, this happened so really really like that thank you so much Ikea for letting this happen I'm now going to have to take all the drawers out basically I'm going to sit and I'm going to organise my drawers because they're just overflowing with stuff like they need to be organised um, and as I was putting that one out these two fell down so I really do need to go and buy some new drawers basically I think I need just a bigger room um, that's the bottom line of it but yeah here we go so that's a metaphor for my morning Basically, I've just got so much mess everywhere uh, because I'm organising things into piles that I need to keep and piles that I'm going to give to family and friends. So now it is time to go through my lip drawer. But basically, I don't think I should... Oh my gosh. I don't think I showed you guys the other day. I got a massive parcel from Huda Beauty and she sent me all of her eyelashes and all of these lipsticks. So now I have so many lipsticks. So I'm going to sit and go through these. I genuinely only keep the ones that I know I'm going to use because I'm such a hoarder and I'd rather somebody else have it and they're actually going to use it and get enjoyment out of it then it just sit in my drawer and now here is my lip drawer i've organized it properly so now i've got like all the lip colors that i know that i'm going to use on top i also want to get new storage for these i actually want to put them on top of my alex drawers up there just because there is like so many of them and i feel like i want to display them because i love my mac lipsticks like there's three rows here so i definitely have enough to display them and then i've just put all my huge ones out i've got some nars ones and then i've got some more mac ones that won't even fit on this bit and then i've also got just a few favorites underneath and then I've got all my other lipsticks in this tray that I don't use as often but I will still use. Everything is coming along nicely. I've bagged everything in different bags. By the way, this bag isn't makeup. It's genuinely just like actual rubbish from my room and then this bag is full of makeup which I'm going to take to my friends tonight and now it's time to tackle my wardrobe because I seem to do this a lot but because I get a lot of clothes which I'm so grateful for I then end up having not enough hangers and they all end up in these boxes. So again, I'm going to go through my wardrobe, sort out what I need to sort out. It probably doesn't look much different to you guys but that is so much better compared to what it was now i've genuinely just got clothes in there that i'm going to use and they're in like color order so it's like white pink gray blue yellowy orange to black and then i've got coat so it's so much better and then i've got all of my trainers down here my other shoes are downstairs but these are all my trainers and then i've got my louis bag and then my gucci bag on there and then i've just got two boxes this one is filled with underwear and then this one is filled with other clothes that i can't really hang up and a few bags and here is my fit finished room it looks 10 times better to what I did this morning honestly it was so so messy and finally it actually like smells fresh as well because I've like actually cleaned it and stuff and also I just put out I was basically telling you guys earlier in this vlog my little millions dispenser I bought it from B&M for like two pound and then it's got like three little bits in so I can just dispense in millions whenever I get hungry but yeah this is my room I've got my flowers I had to mix both bouquets together um because I literally just didn't have room for both of them anymore but yeah this 
this is what it looks like and I love it like I'm so happy that it's tidy it's actually a few days since I last vlogged or was it yesterday that's to finish vlogging it was yesterday basically i was filming a video yesterday evening and this morning so i just couldn't vlog but now i'm gonna go to london i've just finished packing my case which i'll show you in a second and i'm actually going for two nights i was only gonna be going for one and then yesterday we arranged to go and do something for kira's birthday on sunday so we're gonna be going basically tonight i'm going to celebrate sass primark range at the w just having like a massive like primark sleepover it's gonna be so sick and then on sunday we're gonna go do an escape room and then i think we might be going out and then kira's booked us a really fancy hotel to stay in and i messaged her i was like kira i was like it's your birthday surely that means like we should pay for you she was like mm, yeah about that and i was like what do you mean she's like i've paid and i was like kira like we will pay it's your birthday but she insisted so thank you kira you're a babe i am pretty much oh hello mum you're all right i'm pretty much ready to go i've got on the scarf on that saf bought me i'm literally obsessed with it i think it's so pretty and then i've just got on a black turtleneck black leggings because we're going to be getting into our pajamas literally as soon as we get there and and then I've got my Safi B suitcase, which I'm literally obsessed with. And then I'm going to pop on my River Island coat with it. Bag, shoes, ready to go. I have just arrived and I'm literally blown away. So first we're going to do a room tour, then I'm going to explain what happened. So as you come in, I don't really get what this is, to be honest. I haven't really had a good look around. But I've got like a mirror here. I've got the pajamas that I've got to put on in a second as well. And then I've got, is this like the sink? I don't really get it. Um, and then we've got some of Saf's Primark range here. Oh my God, I'm literally so excited and just so happy for her. Like this is insane. And then we've got the bed, which has got like all of her duvet on it, the cushions, pajamas again. I've just got my bag. Oh my god, this is literally so exciting. And then I've got this like little snack thing here. TV, light, like the bed. This is so, so sick. So as I got here, I literally just like walked into the hotel and two guys dressed in like purple like um hotel suit type things, like hotel butler things. I can't explain it, but you guys wouldn't probably know what I mean. Um and two people just walked up to me, they've got like primer hats on, they went high on the stage, and I was like, oh hi. Like it was just like took me like proper by surprise. They were like, welcome to the Primark Hotel, and I was like what and now they've just literally brought me up to my room apparently everybody's staying on the same floor and Saf is already here so i'm gonna get into my pajamas and i'm gonna go to Saf's room and i'm literally so excited like this is insane i'm in my Safi b pajamas i decided to go for the gray bottoms tonight obviously there's the stripy ones as well but i fancied wearing the gray ones and i've just got my top on and i'm gonna put my snuggly on and now i'm just waiting for Saf to tell me her room number and i'm gonna go to her room i'm literally so happy and so excited for her oh my god so we are now inside and look at the massive wall that says primark Safi, go on, Saf, stand on your wall. Oh, the sunshine. Oh, go on. Look at the massive sofa. And then Nicole just informed me that this actually moves. So that's, that's insane. We have just filled in our menus for our food. And obviously, I've gone for the margarita pizza, Pepsi, and then we're getting full cream, hot chocolate later. My type of event. Hey guys, so I'm stopping Karen's event because she's about to get her bag, hair done. Which one are you gonna go for? Oh, wait, I can't really move, so I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Mine and Nicole's hair, it Everyone's looks so cute. Me well. and Nicole were just saying, really because cool. they're yeah, like tight at the front, yeah. and like it's just so tight. I'm gonna have it for like, and look at this guy, we're gonna have it like, so 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 like, so like next two days. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, I will sleep in this and just keep them in for like however long they'll last. Yeah, 100%. So we are just waiting for our food, the pizza's just about to get brought in. Are you guys excited? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, the pizzas! Oh my god! By the way, guys, I remember what they're called. They're called bellboys. I forgot what they were called earlier. Yeah! Oh my god! Look at the box! That is so cool! Oh my god! That is the coolest thing ever! It just brings you Oh, thank you! Boxes, Safi B on it, and then you open it. Oh my god, the pizza looks insane. Look at that. Oh my god, I need to get a boomerang of this. It's so cute. The hot chocolates have just arrived. How cute is this? How cute are these? Oh my god. And look at Saf's mugs as well. I think that was my favourite. I love that. We're all just like... 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, the little thing. Oh. I've never had them. Don't you put them inside the hot chocolate and then they melt? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that as well. How good does the hot chocolate look? Oh my god, it's really coming over the side of the cup. It's that filled. And everybody's making their hot chocolates. Is it nice? <laughs> the party has now finished and me, Saf and Nicole are in the suite and we are going to run the hot tub. We're going to put all the bubbles on. We're going to order some cocktails. It's going to be a good time. Look at this. Like it's actually massive. Like it's literally massive. So I think me and Nicole are going to start running it and Saf is just having a look at the cocktails we can order. Overall, that has been such a good night, but these French braids make me literally look... 12 again. Like I don't look 18 anymore, I literally look 12 again. And then when I take my hair out tomorrow, it is literally going to be crazy. So um, that's gonna happen. But yeah, I'm so excited to have some cocktails. So I was, this is basically where we came the other day when I was with Haz and Nicole and we had cocktails. They're so good here, just went till you guys see them. We just got out of the hot tub. We had a bit of a dilemma where basically the jets literally just like sprayed up. It was the funniest thing. We ended up ordering a cheese board and ordering chips to it. Basically it was so sick. And Grace and Grace ended up coming in with us. It was like me, Grace, Grace, Saf and Nicole. But I am going to end this part of the vlog here and then we're going to go to the morning where we're going to be having breakfast. Oh, well, I took my plats out as well because I was getting a headache. Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to another part of the vlog. I actually don't even know how many parts there are in this vlog anymore. But this morning, I am currently at Westfield. I am just sat and I'm going to sit and do some editing. I've got two main channel videos that I need to sit and edit and then I've also got a vlog that I need to sit and edit. So I'm going to sit and do that. I've got like two hours before has comes out of work and then Byron doesn't come out until two and then Saf has gone home because she needs to go repack her case and then we're all meeting up again tonight and we're going to celebrate Kira's birthday and we're going to do an escape room which is going to be so good I'm so excited for that then we're going to the duck and waffle and then Kira's booked us this really nice fancy hotel so that is the plan I'm now going to sit and edit and then I'll get back to you sorry everyone I've just <laughs> Then I also picked up these shoes. Now, I literally wanted these for the longest time and they never had them in my size and I literally were doing stuff in the stock room today and I saw that they were a size He stole eight, them, so basically. Like, you know, they sold out online. I'm just going to get them because they're really cute. Just tell them the truth, Brian. You stole them from the stock room. No, I did not. I can get my receipt. Oh, go on, then. On my emails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's in my bag, actually. I'll get it right now. Wow, look at that long receipt. I actually am now back at Byron and Hathi's because realistically, <laughs> oh, you're so funny. This is what you did when I was vlogging. <laughs> 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 Basically, when am I not at House and Byron's house? So basically, I've already explained to you basically, guys what we're doing today. Shot every time Anna says basically. Oh, you're so annoying. Say it again. Basically, you already know why I'm here because basically we're going to do a escape room tonight, which I'm really excited for. We're going to get ready now. Why are we doing it? Why? Yeah. It's Q's birthday. And now, please excuse what I look like because I'm aware that I actually look awful. I am going to get ready in a second and do my makeup and do my hair nice because Byron refused to help me with my hair. But I'm going to open. But why have you got what? What? What are you holding behind your back? Nothing, hand, no oh present. Oh my god, I no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have a spider or something. I'm going to open Byron's birthday present. Oh, wait, can you sell that again? Uh, yeah. Unbox it. Surprising my best friend with what? <laughs> oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't put it in special packaging. Oh shoot, Byron. Are you there? It's very fancy. That is so sick. Are you joking? Well, they were meant to come in this little uh, gold packaging. Byron, that's just going to happy 18th birthday. And, oh my god, that is so sick. Oh, and I also got you a balloon, but I didn't blow it up. <laughs> Surprise! Oh my god, happy birthday! This is your present. <laughs> And here is my OOTD for tonight. So I've done my hair, like I just put it like half up, half down. It's a little bit greasy after having it in those plaits yesterday and there was not really much I could do with it. And I've just redone my makeup and then I've got on the same top, the tartan trousers. Then I bought these shoes earlier from Topshop because we're going to the Duck and Waffle and you know how to wear trainers. And then I've just got on this big black puffer jacket which I bought from Urban Outfitters and I love it so much. I've wanted a puffer jacket like this for ages because the other two just don't fit me anymore that I have at home. Look at the view from the hotel oh, room. Well, what the, the hell? Happy birthday, Kira. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my god. That is insane. And the shards over there as well. Wow. Oh my god, you can go outside. Oh my god. <gasps> what do you mean there's two? <gasps> there's two outside. Look at this. That's um Tower of London. Where the crown jewels are. Oh god, I hate it, I'm scared. Oh my god, your vlogmas intro could be that. Shoo! Wow. I'm gonna put that at the beginning Shoo. of my vlog. Shoo! <laughs> That's the beginning of your vlogmas bye. Vlogmas bye. Oh, sorry, I didn't eager. Ordered. Guess what? Uber Eats. Comment below what we've got. <laughs> McDonald's. Basically. Oh, were you telling him? Oh, uh, oh god. I'm so I was confused. waiting for him to comment. No, you were waiting for him to comment. I was telling him already. I was spilling the beans. Oh, basically, yes. I'm gonna switch around to the mirror. We got Uber Eats McDonald's. Because we're not going to dinner until half past ten, and even then, I don't think we're going to be eating until like in the eleven. Room. Yes, I have. I think I've told her that five times. Woo! Cannot wait. Gonna get spooked. Gonna find Sherlock Holmes. Doom, doom. Woo! We got the goods. Very awkward because Byron hasn't got any shoes on. <laughs> Woo! It's working, baby girl. Huh? Is that one coming down? This one's already here, but are we going to get in it? That's the question. No, you were right. You're psychic. I always knew you were that psychic. So They're all like rich ass people. What? what floor? Huh? What floor? We were on AN. Why yeah. have you picked floor four? I think it's floor four. Oh. Sweet new place. We've arrived. It's called Breaking Escape from London. Are you excited, Kira? I'm gonna break your neck. No. Oh. I love that. <laughs> So we can't film anything like Byron has well. said in the escape room so I'm gonna have to check in with you after. I'm so sorry, we will update you afterwards and um, if we make it out I will let you know. Bye everyone. <laughs> we just came out of the escape room, we could thank you. We got out with two minutes to spare. We were just saying Kira is basically the one who got us out. Well, and Ellie as well. Kira is a genius. It was Ellie and Kira. We so all played a really good part but yeah, you're so clever. Oh, it was so much fun though. You want to come back and do another one? I wish I could have filmed it. Really it was so much fun, right? Let me shut this up. Like Generally, that was that the best was hour so of my life. <laughs> Did you not think? That was really good. It was so, so good. good. We need to make Uber. Yeah, we do. Need to make Uber. Are we going back Here is our food. Yeah, I really want a fried egg. <laughs> no, I'll, yeah, I'll, put, I'll change we it over. Me and, me and Saf are sharing our egg. This is Hazzy's. How good does it look? All right then, babe. <laughs> good morning, everyone, and welcome back to, I don't even know what part of this vlog anymore. It is super early, and as you can see, Wait, it's fairly early. Are you all right? She's What's the time now? She's like, it's 6 a.m. and really it's about 10. What's the time now then? It's half 10. Oh, it's not that early anymore. It's actually half 10. Well, no, we have been up since really early though. Oh, yeah, Kira's yeah. tired. And we all. <laughs> we have been up since really early because Saf had her first Primark meet up and Byron had to go to work. So we were all awake at like 7. Um, today, we are going to go and play mini golf, which I'm really excited for. We're going to go out for some breakfast. Um, what's the mini golf called? Just did a Minecraft dance. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. Joke dance. Yard golf. Yeah. Do you used to just say Minecraft? Oh, it's not Minecraft, is it? It's um, what's it called? Uncultured swine. <laughs> Uncultured swine. Hi. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> Yes, I will take a photo of you. Oh, We're going to go play. Was it junkyard golf? Uh, yeah. We're going to go play. Ah! Junkyard. Just to give you a little update, I just sat here and cleared the memory card of footage that I actually needed for the beginning of this vlog. So it was actually meant to be a really cute little breakfast clip with me, my pancakes, no clip. And um, now me, Kira, Ellie's over there. How's this just edited? Oh, honestly, wow, that was, you really did me over. Bad mood, sis. Bad mood. <laughs> Kira bought some sick We are so here. opposite moods right now. I like, literally. <laughs> looking at the mood. <laughs> Kira, that dance is so sick. <laughs> Major, how did he play Fortnite? I don't actually. I've never played it. No. Oh, I, mean, I want to. Never played it. I played Minecraft. You didn't have a childhood. Why do you say I've Minecraft? Never played it. I used to play Minecraft, Kira. Because you're a northerner. Oh, what did you call me? A northerner? <laughs> I was like, how? 
well. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> True. But we're gonna go play. <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> I looked down for a second and when I looked back up, she was going buzz and she had the glasses on her heart. And Hat is gonna take a nap before we go. <laughs> I really want to. <laughs> Kira's gonna do. Can I show them my chocolate? Oh, yeah, <gasps> yeah, show them the chocolate. Okay, well, I kind of ate all of it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. oh no, okay. Basically, we went to this very, very posh chocolate shop. And the chocolate came to like. Should we do a live look? Yeah, it's kind of okay. Oh, I'm going to eat a chocolate covered <gasps> macadamia, though, because these are my favourite. Okay, I don't know which one's which, though. Do you remember what they are? No, I didn't. Just the pink one. I remember. These are macadamia. Though. That white one is. Like I think that one will be cool. Who's what? Is it no. no, she picked it up Just because she was like... looks nice. Okay. I don't know what that I'm one is. It looks like a truffle. Where they're posh, I'm going to try that. Taste the same. That looks nice. That big huh? boy. Where they're posh, okay. though, it tastes like yeah. It's salty caramel, I'm pretty oh. sure. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's leaking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I won't buy it. Oh, no, no, you... Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, it sounds really good, so open your mouth. Oh my god, oh, yeah. salt and caramel. It's like got a little oh, bit right. of salt and caramel in it. Sort of a lot, but no, but it's no. like, I've not got caramel in it. Yeah, I hate it's caramel. It's got a little square of caramel. It up. I can really? see it in your mouth, yeah. So we are in this little coffee shop called Genesis and how insane is this aesthetic? Like they've got the neon lights, look at the tables, they're like, they're like wooden, we've got like the triangles, even the menus, little table holders. Oh my god, it's literally just insane. And the chairs, some of them are rose gold. Ellie, looking fit as ever. It is a bit. Look at the little plant. Oh, and where's the coffee cup gone? Oh yeah, oh this is somebody else's coffee that we found on the table. But how pretty. <laughs> Here is the golf course. You're literally not gonna be able to hear me. But, go on Ellie. <laughs> we are at hole one right now. Has Has got it in? No, she's gonna try and hit it in. Go on Has. Right, is she gonna get it? Do you love me?